This is it. I am standing at the place where the beryllium was mined for the James Webb Space Telescope. Let's take a step back. I traveled just south of Salt Lake City to a town called Delta, Utah. Well, here we are. What is it? 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> and then back on the road the next morning as the sun rose up to meet the brilliant miners, all in my quest to find out. So Utah is home to many valuable materials, copper, magnesium, uranium, gold, and silver. But most of the world's beryllium is mined here. And engineers chose beryllium for Webb's mirrors because it is lightweight, it is strong, and it is dimensionally stable. So that means that it is not going to warp when operating at really, really cold temperatures. What is even here? As we were driving down into the pit, I learned that we were in fact driving on the beryllium. This rock looks nothing like metal. Where is the beryllium? How does this turn into this? I of course needed to speak to an expert and he came in the form of the VP of operations, Greg Gregory. So we're actually standing right on top of the, the beryllium ore seam. Beryllium is in a volcanic ash dust. It was hydrothermally deposited millions of years ago and then covered by volcanic rock. We have to remove the volcanic rock on top of the ore seam and then we use a scraper and a bulldozer to extract the ore that we're standing on top of. Ninety percent of the beryllium it was mined in the world last year, came from this deposit. Let me clue you into how rare this metal is. This area has most of the world's known beryllium, but the highest concentration is only through a 10 foot tall diagonal ribbon well below the surface of the ground. The ore concentration is 0.25% beryllium. So that means that in a ton of ore, there's about five pounds of beryllium. So to get to this point, we had to remove 400 feet of rock to get to the ore seam. Once the ore is extracted, it goes through a bunch of processing to extract the pure beryllium. Then the powder beryllium is pressed into a block, ready for machining. Webb's mirror started out as solid five foot tall five foot wide and two inch thick blocks of beryllium. But in order to machine those blocks, millions of pounds of rock were removed. It comes to about four tons of rock for every pound of beryllium. That is a lot of work for one remarkable metal. <laughs> 